In this guide, I'm going to show you how you can fix DNS errors on your PlayStation 5 so that you can get back online. Before we do dive into this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel with all notifications on. It really does help with the channel and lets us know that you want more content like this. We'd greatly appreciate it. But if you are having DNS errors here on your PlayStation 5, begin by pressing the PlayStation button on your controller and just fully power off your console by scrolling all the way over to this power button, selecting this and hitting turn off PS5 instead of just hitting rest mode. From here, unplug the power cable on the back of your PlayStation 5 and do the exact same with your old router or your modem. And just wait 30 to 60 seconds and then plug everything back in and restart your console. That being said, if you are still seeing DNS errors, go ahead and navigate into your settings here on your PlayStation 5 by scrolling all the way up at the top and all the way over the right to see your settings selected and then go into network just like so and then go into the settings tab and hit set up internet connection. From here, you're going to find your Wi-Fi network and press the options button on your controller and then scroll down and hit advanced settings. And from here, you want to scroll down until you see these DNS settings here and change it from automatic to manual. For your primary DNS, you're going to either want to use 1.1.1.1 for Cloudflare or you can use 8.8.8.8 for Google DNS. For your secondary DNS though, you're going to want to put 1.0.0.1 for Cloudflare or for Google DNS, do 8.8.4.4. Once you enter in one of these, go ahead and select OK and then try and reconnect to your Wi-Fi and then go all the way back. And what you're going to want to do now is simply go ahead and select connection status and then hit test internet connection to confirm everything's working. If you are still running into problems, try switching between Cloudflare and Google DNS or return to the automatic setting. And this should resolve most DNS errors and get your PlayStation 5 back online. If this guide did help you out, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel with all notifications on. We'd greatly appreciate it. Have a great day. Peace.